All right, everybody, we got a special guest today, Hayden. Hi. <laughs> We're going to here to talk about the power of habit. That's making healthy habits. Everybody likes the power of something. Like, you can't just be like, hey, I'm going to be healthy today, but it's going to be the power of being healthy. So anybody will watch it on YouTube. So Hayden found veganism through trying to find weight loss. Pretty much that. I actually lost weight prior to that. Uh -huh. I was doing home workouts, severely, severely calorie restricting. Eventually doing like little color coded containers to oh, portion out by shit. 50. It sucked. But we need to preface this that Hayden, what was your start weight? 400 pounds. 400. And he gave us some pictures, which you will see here. What was that moment that you said, hey, I need to do something different? It got to the point where I kind of became like a recluse. And even to get to the end of my street, because I would take my dogs for a walk every day, I couldn't do that anymore. Stopped walking completely. And then your dogs basically pulled them out of <laughs> it's the dogs, it's right? Pretty, yeah, okay, give credit to the dogs. Started working out like crazy, calorie restricting like crazy. And it took me roughly about a good year, year and a half, and I lost 200 pounds. A trainer that I was talking to at the time got me on to like doing paleo, which was, oh, I know, it was horrible. You know, it was just eating all that meat. I wasn't feeling right. I've been vegan for almost two years now. And it was just, you know, restricting like crazy and I'd lose 10, 15 pounds here and then I would turn around and put on more. And then the, here I am, I put back about a good 70 pounds. So Hayden emailed us after I wrote about calorie restriction online and I said, come up here, live a day with us. I want to show you what we do and the power of healthy habit and how it helped me. This is essential to life. This is a rice cooker. This rice cooker also does any kind of porridge and it has a timer. So Hayden was telling me that he's spending too much time food prepping. Yeah. All you have to do with this is you put in your oatmeal before you go to bed, press the eight hour delay, and then when you wake up in the morning, you have perfect steel cut oats. We're gonna make a breakfast rice scramble. Okay. okay. And I put everything on the lowest heat setting. That way you're not going to burn anything. Yeah. We're going to give everything like a different flavor. Add some balsamic vinegar to my French green beans. So I've got some uh, ginger people juice here. I've got some Bragg's liquid aminos. I got some vegan Worcestershire sauce, German mustard. Uh, this is another little hack here, liquid smoke. Healthy habit right there, eating healthy, great food that tastes awesome because we have this mass of spices we can put on it. I can make cardboard taste great. There's no excuse. <laughs> the most important thing in eating are big ass bowls. Just the right amount that you need. Cheers, brother. Let's do a bowl cheers. Did I get on there? All right. <laughs> they ride the smoothie train to Avocado Forest and that is glue fat, glue fat, glue fat.